Good morning, Athens Christian Reformed Church folk and anyone else who's joining us for morning devotions. Uh, my name is Pastor Dan, if you're joining us for the first time, and I am just sharing some devotions from this wonderful book, Seeking God's Face. And uh, so I would encourage you to just take a deep breath, um, sit down for a moment if you're able to, or just pause and close your eyes, and listen to our invitation this morning on this, the 36th day of Lent. Our invitation comes from John 1, verse 29. Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. As we come into this Holy Week, um, we are thinking increasingly more and more of Jesus' last week uh, before his death on this earth. And so we read as our Bible song, Psalm 22, verses 1 and 15 to 19a. And if you remember, when Jesus is on the cross, he says at one point, he says in Hebrew, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And that comes from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from the words of my groaning? My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death. Dogs surround me. A pack of villains encircles me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. But you, Lord, do not be far from me. Our Bible reading for this morning comes from Luke 22, verses 39 to 53. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? he asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up, and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple guard, and the elders who had come for him, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour 
when darkness reigns. I don't know what popped out for you, but for me, the Psalm, Psalm 22, was so powerful for me this morning. But further, it was also so beautiful that Jesus healed the ear of the man, one of the men who had come to arrest him. How much that little story there is like all of us. The Bible tells us that while we were still God's enemies, Christ died for us. What a terrible and wonderful thing. Let's pray. Crucified Lord, this week help me to remember how you sustained in body and soul the anger of God against the sin of the whole human race. Thank you for standing in my place, setting me free from eternal condemnation, and gaining for me God's grace, righteousness, and eternal life. Amen. Now, join with me in our doxology today. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Amen.